Hey everyone, it's Ben from Playwell. So I'm really lucky to be joined today by two of my longtime students, Summer and Holly. Hello. And how long have I worked with you guys? Summer, I've worked with you for since you were probably since I was like five. Since you were six. five or six. How old are you now? Twelve. Twelve. Almost so 13. six or seven years, seven years. And Holly, how long have I worked with you? Probably five or six years. Five or six years. I still remember working with Summer and having Holly, just the little sister, I all around, all over the to place. Come in, I was just like, oh, I can't wait till my mom. And then finally, she's old enough, and she's like, she's an amazing builder, just like her sister now. So, I'm curious if you remember, like, what are what are some of the first projects you you remember? Summer, what about you? Or, or any of your favorites um, that you had? Maybe the pagoda. Oh yes, the big and pagoda. And then you took it apart to try to show us how to build it, and then. You didn't take a picture and you forgot how to build it. Now we always say if you're taking something big and fine, take a picture, take a picture. <laughs> yeah, so there was one project I had just invented and I was teaching them this project and I was taking it apart to show them how it was built and then what happened? What did I do? You forgot how to build it. Couldn't build it again. <laughs> Great, so the one thing that they, my students remember is the one time I really messed up and couldn't remember how to build the model again. But it was pretty funny and I think we eventually built that pagoda, right? It eventually yeah. worked. So, uh, anything else, Holly? What do you remember? Any... I remember we did a, like a stop motion once with the Legos. Stop motion like... movies. Oh, yeah. yeah, we made some stop motion animation movies. Do you remember what did we make movies about? You've made you, these two are my storytellers right here, so I they've made some had good some stories. Camels in. Mm. Well, well, there's always back. the camels. Mm, I wonder if the camels will show their faces again yeah. soon. I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. And we've done math classes together, we've done yeah, animation I, classes. I think I still have the first braid that I made in your class. Oh, yeah, I yeah. learned how to braid in your class. I remember, how to braid. I remember picking up little pieces of yarn off the carpet at the end of class. Uh, we've done engineering, we've done robotics. You guys have both done robotics with me for a while. Like programming four times. Programming stuff. So what do you remember, what do you like about programming? Any of your favorite uh, I liked when we did the, the line follower bot. Oh when yeah. There was a sensor facing down and it followed a line of tape. What about you, Holly? I really like the ones that you can like remote control. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna look at today? What are we gonna build? Uh, Trusses roller coasters. and roller coasters. Trusses and some roller coasters. So let's take a look. Okay, so we're really excited to share this model today. This is the Lego roller coaster. It is a huge, epic model, and it is introduces some really amazing pieces. It's the first time that Lego has introduced roller coaster pieces. These tracks and the little cars and it's a really fun model to play with and to build. So Summer and Holly are gonna take a closer look with us at some of the engineering behind it and how it works, and then make some creations inspired by it. So let's power it up. Yippee! So here we're explaining how the little roller coaster car works. So it just has four little wheels that can kind of move around and two little clips that clamp onto the track so you can just kind of snap it on and then it just rolls on the track. So this is the Lego roller coaster. It can either be controlled by a crank in the back or a remote control. So you push the left, my left hand trigger and it goes up to the top. And then these wheels will push it along, and it'll go downhill and grab you and do the rest of the work. It just went straight past, but now when you pull on this, this little wheel comes out, and it'll stop it once it gets to the end. And why does it stop? So that the passengers can get off of the ride and new passengers can get on. And then you turn this to make it go, hopefully, back to the start again. Depending on how many people are going on the ride, you can pull this out to add more cars on. So with the model this big, this frame has to be really, really strong. So can you explain what are some of the techniques that make this frame so strong? So what we used is there's triangles all over the structure uh -huh. called trusses, and they're making it stronger because when it's a truss or a triangle, it can't bend or wiggle. Holly, could you just show us some trusses in the actual coaster? Can you point out some that are 
in the framing of the roller coaster? So there's some right here at the end. It's just a triangle, mm -hmm. so it can't shift around. Okay. So here, here, and there's one right here too. Okay. And there's some. Oh, a small whole series one of them over here, huh? To a bigger one right here, and here there's a lot of chests in this. Okay, so now Summer and Holly made some models to help explain what's so special about trusses. So Summer, do you want to start us off? What do you have over here? So first we have just a square made out of beams, but it's not strong. See, I can just wiggle it like this. But if I put a beam going in between so that it makes two triangles, it's a lot stronger. I can't wiggle it. And this one is a triangle, so it's also strong. Nice. So here is a truss that I made out of two by bricks, where I just put them in a triangle shape and clamp them together. Okay. And now Holly, what do you have to show us? Um, this is how you can make your own truss at home using skinny bricks. I used six by ones. So you make kind of like a crocodile mouth, and then you just Connect them together like this. It kind of looks like a fence. Connect them like this. Bend it down. And move this part. And you have your own truss. And try so to wiggle that around, see if it's it strong. All. So that's pretty strong, and that just uses simple one by bricks. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part two of Roller Coasters with Summer and Holly.